All right, Flyway Mechanic here, and I'm working on a Honda Odyssey, and customer was complaining of the hesitation on cold startup and a check engine light. We went ahead and scanned it for codes, and we got a um, P3497 and a P3400. Um, VSP system stuck off bank two, and VSP system stuck off bank two. Valve pause system. And, and basically, um, it, how these operate is there's a um, there's a solenoid valve and a pressure switch that will actually deactivate um, cylinders to uh, for emissions and to save on uh, gas mileage. Um, and these are both systems are controlled by oil pressure. So one of the first things I want you to do is check the oil level and um, check the oil pressure. So before spending any money, if you get either one of these codes or both of these codes uh, make sure the oil is full and um, also I would su suggest if unless it was just done changing actually changing the oil and um, seeing if uh, clearing the code and then seeing if that comes, code comes back and I'll tell you 80% of the times um, just an oil change if it was overdue or if the level was a little low is going to um, is going to take care of that uh, P3497 or the P3400. Now also, um, I want to do this video because I did find a service bulletin. Um, service bulletin 13-055 where they want you to pull the oil pan off and actually um, replace the relief valve spring for the oil pump itself. And that's kind of what uh, regulates oil pressure. So they're having some problems with these. They updated the spring. Unfortunately, the oil pan needs to be removed in order to replace that spring. So what I would suggest if you have these codes, um, I would definitely start by just changing the oil, make sure it's, it's full, clean. Um, like I said, 80% of the time, that is going to take care of the problem. Now, if you were to bring it to a dealer, chances are they're just gonna um, either sell you, sell you a new solenoid valve or they're gonna change the spring. They're probably not gonna say, hey, change your oil and uh, save you a bunch of money. So. If you're watching this video, you have these codes, I would recommend changing your oil, clearing it if they come back. Then um, if they do come back after doing that, I would suggest getting it professionally checked out. Because it's either going to need the service bulletin done, which um, the oil pan comes off, so it is a bit of labor. Uh, it will be covered under some vehicles, depending on the mileage. and um, Or it's going to end up needing a solenoid, um, a solenoid or a pressure switch, or possibly uh, you could even have some low oil pressure issues. But uh, yeah, just want to do a quick uh, video on the uh, P3400 and a P3997 on this Honda Odyssey. So any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. I usually um, do my best to answer everything. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Flat Rate Mechanic. And um, hit the thumbs up button, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.